This video shows how we detect if the problem is on the controller or on the motor. Basically, a scooter is consists of three parts: the motor, controller, and a battery. For the controller A, is connecting with first line A, whole wire A. And from motor, controller B is connecting with first line B, whole wire B, and the rear motor. When you turn on the scooter, I find all the parts are working well except the tires. Then we need to do some detections to see if the problem is on the motor or on the controller. For instance, if you find your front tire is not working, the problem could, could be on the controller A or on the front motor. So we have to do some detections. Before you do those detections, you have to disconnect the power supply wires. You have to disconnect the two wires for your safety. And the second step is you have to switch the first line A and the first line B. Just open the yellow box and you could take out the three wires. Take out the three wires and just switch them. The third step is you have to switch the whole wires. Disconnect whole wire A. Disconnect whole wire A and disconnect whole wire B and switch them. After switching all the wires, turn on the scooter and speed it up. Then we will see if the front motor is still working. If the front motor is working but the rear motor is not working, then we could see the front motor. It's good, it's okay. The problem is on the controller A. But when you speed the scooter up, you find that the front motor is not working and the rear motor is still working. Then the problem is on the front motor. The controller is good. In the same way, if the rear motor is not working, then we need to switch first line A and first line B. Open the yellow box and take the three wires out. Take those three wires out and put those three wires on this box and connect those three wires on this box. Disconnect whole wire A and whole wire B and switch them. After switching all those wires and turn on the scooter, we will see if the real motor is still working. If the real motor is still working, but the front motor is not working, that means the problem is on the controller B. But if the real motor is not working and the front motor is still working well, then the problem is on the real motor. This is how we get the conclusion. The other problem that we usually meet is the scooter tire is shaky, the scooter is not stable. The problem may on the whole wires. If the whole wire A is not is not connected well, then the front motor will be a little bit shaky. If the whole wire B is not connected well, then the rear motor will be a little bit shaky so if you find your scooter is is shaky it's not stable so you have to check the two wires to see if they are still connected well the most important thing is when you finish doing all the detections you have to switch all the wires back the controller a must connect with first line A, whole wire A.
and controller B must connect with freeze line B and hover B. The controller B is the main controller, but if you connect controller B with freeze line A or with hover A, when you turn on the scooter and ride it in single mode, only the front motor will work, but the real motor won't work. That is gonna be dangerous.